wonder if some of you guys have been thinking about this too when do you think we will get back to normal and when i mean normal i mean like proper normal what you were doing this time let's say january in 2019 when will we get back to doing that or 2018 even when do you think that will happen like genuinely because i'm looking at um i've been watching this series called station 11 which is essentially you know kind of mirroring what's going on now with covid but essentially this this flu in this series is more deadly that like people legitimately die and there's only a few what thousand people left on earth or what it seems like a few thousand people um for some reason infrastructures of all kind of everything's finished like it's just people living in desolate parts of america living in cabins um you know living out in the wilderness um you know whatever and obviously it's a tv series it's not real life but they they do kind of give you the impression it it's more so like um how they're going to survive this as opposed to will life ever return back to normal and it seems like on the series they've kind of just settled into the fact that this is their new reality and they're just kind of making do with it and they're doing the thing that i like in terms of my philosophy or kind of outlook in life where i'm more of a guy that tries to operate in the world as is as opposed to wishing for the world to kind of bend to my wheels right and wants or whatnot that's just going to set you off a failure disappointment depression all that good stuff i'm just going to operate in the world as it is and make do with the best i can and obviously we're doing that now at the moment right we're kind of doing that but i also feel like there's a little element in the air at the moment where some people are just i wouldn't say giving up but they've just re resigned themselves to whatever reality this is not in a give up way, just more so in a like, what else can I do way? You know, like if you're like um, about to board a plane or something, right? And you're in the non kind of registered queue thing, right? Because there's obviously if you're in coach, there's still different queues. So there's a queue where you register and there's a queue where you don't register for your ticket and you just get a randomly allocated one. It doesn't matter if you want to rush or not. The ones that registered or bought their, their seat, their ones are still going to go through still first. And then all you guys left over that didn't re that didn't want to buy your seat and just got randomly allocated one will have to wait until they're in. So it's not like you give up in terms of like rushing. You're just going to be like, okay, I'm just going to get on whenever I, I get on. And it kind of happens the same. Maybe the better example is in the kind of immigration queue if you're just late for your train or you're late, sorry, for your airplane. And, you know, you can't barge in front of everybody because everybody else is late too. You just have to kind of accept the situation you're in and hope that by the time you've, you're you kind of done with the immigration, you're going to get on your plane in time. Or by the time you've gone for security, you're going to get your plane in time. And I feel like people are in the same sort of, sort of um, vibe now. People, I don't know, I just get the impression people have kind of, just resign themselves to whatever we're living in now and i'm really questioning to myself like trying to put a number put a date to it like when do i think this is gonna go back to normal like when am i gonna do the things that i was doing in february 2019 like you know whatever when's that gonna happen or january 2020 when's it gonna happen and my initial guess would be most likely especially considering what's happening um because unfortunately we are a somewhat global citizens right we don't operate in silos even if you do live in australia and new zealand you live in parts of china you're still going to be affected by the you know whatever covid decide, decides to do in western europe or central europe or wherever it may be or the western hemisphere so we don't operate in silos so life can't get back to normal until everybody gets back to normal so if that's the case right and this is a mad thing to say <laughs> really is a mad thing to say but i'm gonna say another five years I say another five years before we're back to normal. Like we're legitimately normal. Like no restrictions. You don't have to go on your government's website to go and check if you can go to this place for a holiday. You just did what you did before in 2019 where you just went online, you booked a plane ticket, you booked a whatever train ticket if you're somebody landlocked and you just went. There was no going on the government's website, downloading stuff, put stuff up your nose, putting in an envelope. That didn't exist. If that's to happen, I'm saying five years. Five years. I give it five, which takes us into, you know, some scary territory because obviously there's no guarantee that the five years will be a smooth ride. Other things might happen in the interim as well or during, you know, along the way that might end up extending that time. But I think five years, which would be what, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, let's say 26, 27. <laughs> 2000 and 27 most likely that's when we're going to go back to some level of normality 
crazy, man. And the craziest thing too, also, you don't really hear people talking about it in the news. I guess because it's not the most, you know, um, it's maybe not constructive. It just serves no purpose to talk about it in the news because you don't know. But you don't really hear a conversation around when they're trying or aiming to kind of live in a place where we may be living with the virus or we may be decided we should just kind of go, you know, collectively decided as a world population that we should just kind of continue with our everyday lives and take away because we can. But all this other stuff is a nonsense. I don't know. I think five years, man. It's really, really bleak to say, but I honestly think five years. So if you have any predictions or when you think life will get back to some semblance of normal and you're watching this on YouTube, then definitely send me a... Um, leave a comment down below and if you're listening via the podcast app i'll put like an email link on there too and send me an email let me know what's your guess what guesses what what guess do you have when do you honestly think life will return back to normal like it was in 2019 and i say 2019 because that's when i didn't know covid was happening i think by you know by the end yeah by 2020 uh, we already all had a, a, an idea. We saw some news clips. We saw those kind of viral images of people in China getting boarded up in their house, you know, like crazy shit. Like we saw that's happening. We saw the bodies are in Italy and whatnot piled up because all the mugs are full. But 2019, everyone was oblivious. We were all living in Lapland and, you know, having a whale of a time whilst the flipping volcano was slowly but surely erupting. So, yeah, five years, I think, in terms of getting back to normal. But if you guys are more optimistic than I am, then please let me know in the comments. I would love, 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 love to hear um, what you think about the structure.